Now that we got everything sandblasted in the van, we're gonna start painting everything. So this was a really laborious process, but I think the results are really worth it. I'll show you a little sneak peek of what it's gonna turn out to be at the end of the video. One coat is now done. Now only a couple more coats that'll make it look really even and nice then. Coat number two is complete. As you can see, there's still a couple of brush marks, but hopefully coat three will definitely take that out. And I also bought some more rollers that should help the cause as well. I've been kind of running away from my problems over these last few years and I've been avoiding getting into spraying paint out of a spray gun. Well, the time has come. I actually just finished a bunch of primering work on the van and I bought a roll-on primer system so I used little rollers and brushes. It worked all right, but that was the primer and I almost lost my mind because it was taking hours to do it. So, I have decided to finally jump in and buy a spray gun. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is not the most expensive spray gun. I think this was about $40 at the local Chinese direct importers, also known as Harbor Freight. If you're trying to apply paint with the spray gun, you have to use compressed air to force the paint out. The thing is, air compressors compress air that is ambient, and the ambient air contains moisture, unless you're in areas of the world that's really dry. And this moisture condenses in the line as it's being sprayed, and then it can come out, and it will be interfering with your paint, because you're gonna be spraying paint and some water. So the way you fix that is you have to eliminate the water from the compressed air. There's a few different ways you can do this. You can spend either a couple hundred dollars or a couple thousand dollars to get a professional system. And I really don't want to do either of those. I'm trying to keep this right around 100 to 200 dollars. I'm going to build my own system tonight. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this coil and get it ready for the cooler. This copper coil will be sitting in a cooler full of ice. The air will be passing through this copper coil, will be cooling down, thus causing the water to condense into small droplets. 
These droplets will then be filtered out through my various filters and then also finally some desiccant. I've got my little system pieced together right here. As you can see, this is the first water separator. This is gonna be the second one, this is the filter. Then there's a desiccant trap right here as well. Let's get some Teflon tape on all of these little connections here. be good to go now. All right, we've got everything taped off. It's definitely gotten a little bit dark, but that's okay, because today's gonna probably be the last warm night of the year, and I don't wanna wait till it gets super cold, because then painting is not ideal. I've got my certified mixing station right here, a 2,000 milliliter beaker. For this, I'm using this 2K ceramic chassis black from Eastwood. Here's that back wheel well. A little bit of shot underneath the van, it looks pretty good. Not bad for the first time using a spray gun, I think. Quick view of how it looks underneath. I really like the gloss. It definitely brings out some of the flaws in the paint, but also looks really clean. What I have to do next is paint inside of here. It's a little hard to see, but in here I want to get a really good coat of paint on everything inside all of these rails that are right here and also right over there. The way I'm going to paint inside those frame rails is with this internal frame coating. Rust-Oleum sells it. It's a decent product. I've used it a few times. And what's really nice is that it comes with this little hose right here that you can just attach on the top of that spray can. So then this hose has a bunch of little jets in the end and those jets end up spraying a pattern out and then it coats everything inside. I've used it before, it works well, so we'll try it again today.
Here we got the rails all nice. Everything inside is painted pretty well. I'm gonna do one more final coat of black paint to cover everything green. And then we'll go from there. Here I experimented to see if I would like tan or black better. And I definitely prefer having just the black paint on the bottom here. I think it looks a little bit cleaner. And I also have more black paint on hand, so that makes it easy. This is the rear wheel well. I'm actually gonna still completely redo this undercoating later, but for now, all the rest of this metal stuff is looking pretty good. Quick shot of the engine bay area here. And now underneath the van. You can definitely see a lot of the imperfections with the gloss, but I really like the look of it. And let's be honest, this thing is just gonna be dirty most of the time anyways. But now I know that it's clean underneath and that there's no rust starting anywhere. And one more shot of the front here. <laughs> 